In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Even though it looks difficult to solve, I promise you by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve this problem. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach that 1000 subscriber mark. So please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to support and let's begin solving four minus four times four minus four. Now, some people will make this mistake of solving this problem by starting with four minus four, which equals zero. And then they multiply it by this four. Zero times four gives you zero. And then they'll bring down the minus four and zero minus four gives you negative four. This is wrong. Also, they'll some of the some some people will, will 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 do this part first. Four minus four, zero, times four minus four, zero, and they multiply zero times zero, and that's zero, and they think that's the answer, either negative four or zero, and that is wrong. And the reason why that is wrong is because they're not following the rules of order of operation. And you probably have heard of that. And there's an acronym, an acronym for it. And, the, and that acronym is PANDAS. P, I mean, P-E-M-D-A-S. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M stands for multiplication, D division, A addition, and lastly, S for subtracting or subtraction. And we work from left to right in this order. And let's go ahead and use the order of operation to solve this problem. Now, the first thing we do is multiply. That goes first. And then subtracting will be last. So let's start with multiplication. So we look at this problem. 4 times 4 equals 16. And then we bring down the 4 minus 16. I mean, 4 minus and then the minus 4. And then we subtract. We work from left to right. We don't do 16 minus 4. We go... 4 minus 16. Now, 4 minus 16 is negative 12. And you're probably wondering, how, how did I get negative 12? Well, think of money. If, oh, actually, that'll be the second example. The first example, if you remember the, the number line, and there goes zero and you're at four and you need to go 16 units back if you count 16 units you'll land at negative i mean negative 12. you'll land at negative 12. or you can think about money if you got four dollars and you owe some you owe money to somebody um, let's say they want you need to pay them sixteen dollars. You only got four. You still owe them twelve dollars, and that's why we have a negative sign because you still owe money. So that's another way to look at it. So four minus sixteen is negative twelve, and then we bring down this minus four, and then again you can use that same money scenario. You're you're owing negative twelve dollars, and, and now they add another four dollars. Uh, to what you owe. So that would be 16, negative 16 will be your answer. Or if you if you stop that negative 12 and you, you need to go another four units to the left, you'll stop at negative 16. So your answer is negative 16. And there you go, easy. Now, again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. And again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. See, you can, can do it.
Practice makes progress. Let's go.